Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Taylor, and this is another episode of The Happy Doc. I'm super excited, as always, to record. And uh, for today, I'm going to be talking about being more engaging. And uh, what I mean to say is that whatever field we go into, uh, whether we're a, uh, you know, a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, a parent, uh, what have you, whatever it is that you do in life, you're going to have to communicate with other individuals. And through that process, you're going to want to be engaging. And why do we want to be an engaging an engaging person? Because we want to be able to influence other people. We want to be able to impact them. We want to have them listen to us. And so for all those reasons and more, it's incredibly important that whatever we deliver in our information that we are engaging. So I'm going to provide three important tips in this episode to be more engaging. So first off, the number one thing you have to do is you want to be entertaining in some form. So I always give the tip of number one, you have to have energy. If you don't have energy behind what you speak about, it's not going to be captured. We've all had the person or the teacher who speaks in a monotone fashion and sounds like they're about to fall asleep. And then we don't get to actually hear the lesson because they're so impossibly boring that we just can't get captured by the information. So energy is super important. Number two, as part of that entertainment factor, we want to have authentic enthusiasm. The person who is speaking should come from a place of enthusiasm, a, a, a place of wanting to actually speak about what they are speaking about. So for me, I'm authentically enthusiastic because I want to impact people. And I believe that if I can help you be more engaging, you're going to impact others as well. And hopefully in a positive way. So that's why I want to teach this, right? And I want to talk about it. So that entertainment factor is going to be really important. It doesn't mean you have to put up a comedy routine. You don't have to be a clown, but you have to find a way to be entertaining. The other thing you can notice is even as I speak, I don't speak in that monotone fashion, right? There's a little bit of a, like a dance in the way that I speak. I don't have to constantly speak in one way. I can change my volume. I can change my cadence if I want to. And all those things create a more engaging conversation. So for all those things and more, you just really want to think about that entertainment piece that's going to provide the value, the information that you really want to uh, provide to, to the listeners, right? The second part of it, I actually, actually um, sort of messed up there. Uh, I already gave it away is number two is you want to provide valuable education. So educating an individual is going to be something that allows that person to really want to listen to what you are speaking about. So if you're a field expert, let's say you're a health professional, you might be talking about the COVID pandemic. If you're a, a teacher, maybe you're gonna provide a math lesson, right? So you really want to think about what is the information you want to deliver and understand why it is valuable for the group that you're providing it to. If the information you're providing to your audience is not valuable in some way, they're not going to want to use it. And so you really have to come up with information you think is going to be useful for the people listening, right? The value point, it can, it can be an update in your field. It can be a current event. Obviously, for certain audiences, the information you're going to provide is obvious. But let's try to provide valuable information that someone can take and ideally use in some format that's going to be useful for them, right? And as an audience member or listener, ideally speaking, they're going to want to hear that information. So it has to be a valuable educational component to it. The third important part is to inspire the individual through the information, right? So inspiration implies that you're giving your breath, you're providing oxygen, you're allowing someone to think about something in a new way that they can apply that information, right? So when you are providing your education, you want to have the listeners, you want to provide questions to the listeners to engage them as they're listening, have them introspect, have them think about that information. How are they going to apply it? So as I'm saying that, I'm going to ask you this question. You can pause the video or the audio, however you're listening to this. 
how can you be more engaging when you need to be engaging in whatever material that you provide? How will you become a more effective communicator? How are you going to create more impactful content? How will you deliver information in a way that is going to be uh, entertaining, that is going to be providing valuable information and that will ideally inspire individuals? How are you going to do that? Because if we cannot engage, we're not going to be able to inf influence. And if we can't influence or, or impact someone, if we can't connect, that's the real word I'm looking for, connect, then um, we're not going to be able to be an impactful person. And the reason I'm sharing all this is because I would love to impact you. I'd love to inspire you to think about things in a different way so that you can apply that information in your field and ultimately help the other per other people, other individuals on the other side, uh, you know, be more fulfilled, be more excited, be more happy, provide that service that you really want to give. So for all those reasons and more, I ask you to be more engaging in your delivery. I hope you guys had some, uh, were provided some valuable information through that conversation I just had. I hope that you uh, enjoyed listening. And if you guys want to check out more episodes, you can check out The Happy Doc. Uh, this is a stream that I have on YouTube. Uh, I'm also putting this up on all podcasting channels. Just search The Happy Doc. And you can always email me. It's thehappydoc1 at gmail.com. And uh, thank you guys so much for listening. You can check out the social media. It's at Happy Doc podcast. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Thank you so much again and have an amazing day.